please join in singing our opening hymn, number 717, in the Missal, Lift High the Cross, number 717, in the Missal, Lift High the Cross. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we gather on this beautiful day, we call to mind God's great gift of our life and of the ability to work and to work hard as we celebrate this weekend of Labor Day. May God bless our work and also our ministry in serving the Lord. We call to mind our sins. We ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you commanded your disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you died on the cross for our salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us at the Eucharistic table. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God heaven.
O God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your holy name, so that by deepening our sense of adventure, of reverence, we may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. This we pray through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I'm an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. I 
shout for joy My soul clings fast to you letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save a life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come in with his angels in his Father's glory, 
and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord be with you. No, really, the Lord be with you. That's what I want to especially say to our folks in the cry room. <laughs> the wonderful family that brings us three new parishioners as they were given the gift of triplets. And they're going to baptize those triplets here today after Mass. The Lord be with you. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to pop the bubble and see the color of pink or blue fly out. Never had that happen in my life. Probably isn't going to happen for sure. I've been to one, just one in my lifetime, parties. In my day, we didn't do those things, but they're sure doing them now. I never had the experience of uh, coming home to my wife with that little test, say, guess what? What's that like? Neat stuff? Powerful moment. What do you do when they say three? Oh Lord. But what a gift. It's one thing to become a parent, which again I never have. Most of you have. That's a change in life, amen? And when you bring that baby home, for the first time and you spend those first nights at home, that's that's the change in life, isn't it? Amen? I thank God for celibacy all the time when I hear those stories of people telling me what that's like. But coming home with three, praise the Lord, takes a lot. Most every parent has told me that. And uh, I think Faith-wise, that greeting that we say so many times, even during the Mass, the Lord be with you, means a lot. Amen? And he's only going to be with us, although we don't tell him what to do. He'll go where he wants. Feet down. There you go. But when we pray that, hopefully it really is a prayer. The Lord be with us. From the moment of our baptism, that's a promise he makes in the Bible. What does he say? I will be with you always until the end of time. You like that promise? They do. Will he be there at 2.30 when they're crying and they need changed? I think the Lord will be there with you. But he won't change them. <laughs> That's your gift. The faith that you bring your children to, that we bring our children to, that our parents brought us to, is a faith in which we ask God through our sacramental life. Help us to be strong. Help us to be calm. Help us to be patient. Help us to be understanding, loving, kind. And certainly families starting out in this journey with a new child. 
God is with them. But our life also needs our choices. Today we hear in the scriptures, in that second reading, Paul says, I urge you, I urge you, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing. That really is what every child needs in their mom and in their dad. Amen? But then Paul says to them, don't, and this was a long time ago. Look at where we are today. He says, then, do not conform yourselves to that present age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That should be in every Sunday experience. That should be an experience every time that we want to open up and hear God speak to us, that it would transform us, transform us. Joe, how old's your daughter? 16. She's driving now, right? That's how you got 16 real quick, isn't it? Do you remember, Joe, when you stood I don't know if it was in this church aware and held your daughter. Do you remember, Anna? No, I wouldn't think so. But there may be pictures and memories to prove it, right? And did the priest ask you some questions that day? Like, what's her name? Anna. That's an easy one. And what did you ask of God's church for your child? And what did you say? To be baptized. And then the big question. And we're going to ask the question of our wonderful parents with their three children. And are you going to ask it three times, Deacon? Just one time. (laughs) I don't think they're going to respond. Well, for two of them, we will. The other one, I don't think we're going to. I'm sure their yes means yes. Are you ready to accept Accept what? The responsibility of sharing the faith with your daughter. What did you say? He said yes. They're going to say yes. No one's ever said no. Not in any baptism I've ever had. But what are they saying yes to? Not just to a day, a moment when we pour water and anoint and put a white cloth over. For a lifetime of being transformed helping our mind to never end in striving to grow more and more closely united and in love with Jesus Christ. It's ongoing, amen? Do you notice anything different up here in church? Up here in the front, what's up here? Mums, how do you know? Well, yeah, one of them's opened. Does it look nice? Are you happy? I can see it. (laughs) Guess who brought those mums in? Father and daughter came by and said, can we get the key? What night was it? Tuesday night, Wednesday night, some night when everybody else was home having their dinner. Here they are, water and flowers, going to the store. Did you grow these at home? Don't think so. But that's their yes. Dad is showing his daughter his yes. And daughter is choosing to, I want to do the yes with you. I want to make a difference. Does it make a difference? It does. Are they going to stay beautiful until next year? No. So we'll have to go and get new ones. And you know the changes of the seasons. 
But they'll keep saying yes, because that's their gift. That's the way they believe God is asking of them. How is he asking of you? How is he asking of me? We already know how he's asking of them. He gave them three beautiful children. And the invitation to show them the faith begins today. When they too will say yes. You going to pray for them? Yes. You've been through it. Maybe not triplets. But we are their parish family. Amen. We're called to be united with them in their yes. Amen. We're called to baptize in our faith in our church, these beautiful children that they bring, amen? We're called to babysit. Well, maybe not that, but. <laughs> but we're here for each other. Their wonderful family are so happy for today to come. It's an important day, amen? But it's a day for us who hear the scriptures and hear Paul challenging us and reminding us to not get so worked up and drawn into the ways of the world, but be conformed, transform your mind and heart and soul. Mom and Dad, may the Lord be with you every step of the way. Who knows? Maybe in 22 years, I'll probably be in a nursing home somewhere, but... Uh, You'll be walking all three of them down the aisle here with three other guys and girls to marry them. But that's a part of the journey, isn't it? Step by step, day by day, beautiful moment by beautiful moment, we get to walk with our children. And I'm sure that the walk is much more joyful much more blessed when you take the Lord with you. Even the baby heard that one. <laughs> so, may the Lord bless them and keep them. And may he let his face tonight as they bring their children to baptize be with you always and keep you in his peace. Amen? I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, For all the church, may the wisdom of the Lord continue to guide her every action. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit be their guide in discerning what is good and pleasing and perfect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who suffer for their faithfulness to God's truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this community of faith, May God strengthen us in seeking for fullness of life in Christ's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have passed away, may they rejoice forever in the Father's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those intentions we hold within our hearts. 
for peace in the Ukraine, and at this mass for Eldon and, and Marion Auxier, and, and for eight o'clock for the people, and at 10.30 for Bill and Glenn Baruti, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, and now at the hour of our death. Amen. Our song of preparation, number 498, Make the Love of God Known, number 498 in the Missal. my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, Lord, confer on us always the blessings of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks through your beloved Son, Jesus. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal, now we join the choirs of angels in their hymn of praise. Holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending on your spirit, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took bread into his sacred hands. He gave the bread to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas John, our Bishop, and all who serve you. Remember all our ser sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray with mary the virgin mother of god joseph her spouse the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, O Father, 
Father, deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we await joyful hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, you have said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant to us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share in this banquet of his love. Our song of communion, number 335 in the Missal, Taste and See, number 335, Taste and See. Yeah. 
This week, if you'll check on the Mass schedule for all of the different times of our liturgies, Tuesday's Mass will be at 6 p.m. Wednesday's Mass, which will be the beginning of our PSR program, will be at 6.40 p.m., not 7.30 a.m. Obviously, next weekend is our picnic. We've got many people signed up. It's great. But this is our last weekend, and many people wait till the last day. And so if you would today, please sign up or call into the office. We want to have a wonderful celebration being our 50th year. Please pray for the repose of the soul of Ron Esker, who is the brother of Carolyn Carmichael. He passed away and his funeral mass will be in Tuatopolis on Monday. We'll have our upcoming parish mission in November. Please look for those dates and put them down. And all of the different Jubilee celebrations, as well as the diocesan Jubilee celebration on October 28th, all in the bulletin. 
Can I have a little music, maestro? Today, because it's triplets, we're going to have the baptism after Mass. But I wish to, and I ask the parents, if they would just do a little procession now of their three beautiful children. And as we do, as our acceptance and our blessing of their particular choice to baptize their children, as the babies come around, we're going to have this on video. We've had four in one time. Today is the second record of three. It'll be on video forever. Let's <laughs> give thanks to God for them and for their children. So may the Lord now bless you and keep you. May he continue to let his face shine upon us and be gracious to us always. And may he with these children forever keep all of us in his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and of the gospel by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Amen. Eighty-five with one voice, number three eighty-five with one voice. Take the word and go out to every land. Find the light of Christ for all to see. May the lives of those we touch sing praise to God above. Let us sing, we'll sing With one voice we'll pass the word along With one voice bring justice to the world And with all the angels we'll spread the goodness of God With all power and glory This live stream was provided as a service of 23rd Avenue Media. 23rd Avenue Media is your local full-line videography service. From small to large video productions or live streaming of practically any event, to vintage family movie film or tape restoration, we put our decades of experience to work for you. Visit our website at can'tuseaphoneforthat.com. Can'tuseaphoneforthat.com. Our phone number is 217-313-0011 or email us at kevin at 23rdmedia.com. Ask about our diocese discount. Thank you for watching.